Hi, it's Jason with Velofix.com, sometimes with MyBikeSkills.com, but today with my day job with Velofix.com, and I want to show you how to adjust mechanical disc brakes. So first we have a Rad Rover, a Rad Runner, and if you come on over here, you can take a look at the brake. The way that it works is when you pull on the lever here, up at the handlebar, pulls on a cable, goes through this black housing, and it pulls on a lever. And what that lever does is it pushes one little brake pad on the outboard side, sandwiching the brake rotor against the other one on the inside. And when there's extra room between that brake pad and the brake rotor, then the handlebar, I mean the brake lever will go really close to the handlebar and it won't feel very strong or won't stop you very well. If you don't have enough space, then you'll notice the brake rubbing. And sometimes that happens anyway when the bike is new and it takes a little while for the pads to get accustomed to the rotor. So um, to adjust it after you've had it a little while, you can do two things. The first one is you can adjust the outboard pad by using the barrel adjuster here. So if you can see here, this barrel adjuster screws into the body of the brake lever. And if I turn it righty tighty in, make you go into the body of the brake lever, it makes this housing piece shorter. So it's kind of like if this is the cable and this is the sleeve, my sleeve is the housing. If I make the housing or my sleeve shorter, kind of makes the cable longer. And so this makes the brake lever go farther back towards the handlebar. So that's what, hap that's what happens. If you want to do the opposite of that, then you Turn this lefty loosey. This is the adjuster. This is the lock until it's a little bit more firm. And then you can go over here and check, is it rubbing? No, it's not. So that's good. So that's one half of the adjustment. The other half is if you come over to this side, you can see oops, that the brake caliper here has a, um, a five millimeter piston that goes in. And can you get a close up of this? If you put a wrench in here and turn this righty tighty one click, it firms the brake up at the lever a whole lot. In fact, you might even just try that when it's tight. I mean, when it's super loose, go over there, turn it one click and see if that makes a, enough of a difference. So I'll put it back to where it was. Oh, if you turn it and then you try spinning the brake, oh, that's too tight. You can back it off. Okay, that's good. So that's for the Tektro brakes on this Rad. They're Tektro Aries brakes on Rad Power bikes. And Rad has other brakes that are on there. If they're mechanical, they'll adjust the same way. This bike over here is a Sondor's e-bike. It also has Tektro brakes and they adjust the same way. You can either adjust at the brake lever or Actually, I didn't say this on the other one. You can turn this barrel adjuster on the caliper and that will just lengthen the housing and pull the arm a little bit more. And that'll bring the outboard pad a little bit closer. When you're done with that, you can go and use a five millimeter again to turn the piston on this side. This one also has a click adjustment. Sometimes they don't have that. So that, is how you'd adjust your mechanical disc brakes. And it works for most kinds that pull, that push from one side to the other. Cool. Do you have any questions? <laughs> that was awesome. All right. Thank you.